Hi everybody, today I tried Meta's uh, new image segmentation model. Basically, you can select objects in image or videos and make changes to them. It's super fast and works incredibly well. In fact, you can try it yourself if you go to this address, you can try it out. Basically, you can choose a video. There are various videos you can actually choose for yourself that are made for you uh, on the website. And you can start clicking and selecting different objects. You can create an object by just clicking several one and add them to the same object or remove elements from the object and choose add another object for example you can select uh, just the person and the ball or maybe several objects like the head of the uh, person the shirt and the legs different colors will represent different objects in the scene you can also just pause the video at any point and select the object there and it will be recognized throughout the entire video so, for example, here I chosen the person, and you can see that once I played it, it actually shows the segmented area. So the ball is not selected in this case, only the person itself. This could be useful in many situations. Just an example, for example, when there's a person hiding behind a tree, for example, and you want to make sure that a specific, uh, let's say a kid, is hiding behind the tree, is continued being tracked throughout the clip. From that point on, you can just move and do next, uh, and there you can see all the different effects that are available. I'm pretty sure there are going to be many more, and some of them be even more advanced than what you see now. The first thing I wanted to do is just move the entirety of the person uh, from the scene, or maybe just the ball. Uh, I couldn't do it. I mean, I can make it white, for example, and if I make the entire background white, yeah, it, I mean, part of it depends on the location. It will look like it disappears, but I haven't found the option to do it. Nonetheless, you can choose uh, different things for the background and the object themselves, as you can see here. You can, by the way, click it several times. For each one, there are different options. So in this example, you can see that the ball does get uh, the effect on top of it because, again, it's not segmented uh, from the scene, just the player. Here's another example. Again, the ball is just uh, not segmented. So you can see part of it actually looks like it disappeared, but again, this is because of the... Uh, the colors that are changed. So in some ways you can actually do that, depends on the scene. Now I personally really like uh, the text, look at that. Look how easy it is, I mean so many times we enjoy doing it in thumbnails on YouTube and in videos of course, but it takes so much work. Here, seconds. Now, there are different uh, uh, videos you can choose from if you want to play with others. Uh, by the way, you can download, not all of them, depends on the video you're choosing. You can actually download the video, but uh, those are available there that you saw. You couldn't. I mean, I couldn't. Now, the cool thing is that it really works so well, the tracking, in when there's fast motion in the scene. And this is why those videos are great, really show you how well it works. So in this particular case, i chosen the person. All right, so this is one object and I choose another object and then I just chose the skateboard. All right, so there are two different ones there. Each one in its own color so you can easily distinguish between them. And just for the sake of test testing, I chosen the tree and the building as uh, both of them as a single object. Of course, you can do uh, different objects up to you. Just, you know, having fun. Then it takes a bit of time, it's pretty fast. Look how fast at the bottom, it just go and tracks everything in this clip. It's relatively fast. I was really surprised how fast it actually tracked the object. And then I can just move to the next and choose different effects. Now this of course will take uh, not just video editing and video production even to the next level uh, and the moment we'll be able to just shoot our own movies and add actors and edit the thing. Everything will be editable in mixed reality glasses where everything around us can be segmented out and edited. Just imagine what we can do with the entire world around us when we experience it in mixed reality. We can just change everything. 
So it's not just object recognition that will help, of course, because you can say, all right, this will remove all people from the scene while I'm walking out. Well, you could, it's not recommended, of course, because you can bump into them, but you could be just saying it. So verse recognition, we create and create with AI to create the segmentation and just remove everybody, all people, just you saying the word. So basically, if you're going to Harry Potterize your own uh, reality or part of what the reality that will remain, uh, this is another option, for example, you can see another video, of, so I'm choosing uh, here, if people, look how amazing it actually tracks uh, the girl behind and at the front, and of course, part of it, of course, the hand is uh, hidden, but when you get into the view, it will continue to be tracked fully. It's super accurate, as you can see, impressive. I actually try to do it on uh, white background to see the accuracy. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's very, very accurate. I mean, you can look at it by the way it actually segments the hair. And again, this is very, very fine details. And it's doing an insane job uh, segmenting the hair, how it moves. Just crazy. Here I'm choosing uh, uh, the three girls behind rather than the front. And of course, once you have that, you can click Nest and just, you know, <laughs> just get crazy with it. There's so many things you can actually do creatively, I mean, in a creative way that you can't even think about until you just start playing with things and you get up. Oh my God, actually, that's so cool. And, you know, amazing. You're going to see lots of probably, you know, uh, people creating some crazy creative stuff with it can be used in, of course, uh, uh, clips for uh, music and for everything. Oh. Basically, whether we want to become more creative and do stuff, and everything is so fast. Uh, so, just imagine how much you can do with it. Uh, because again, it doesn't really require lots of knowledge or anything, just clicking away and just pressing a few buttons, and that's what you get. So, this will be adopted for all the uh, popular video social media. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on YouTube, on TikTok. These tools uh, will be available throughout for everybody and more advanced stuff for people to enjoy and of course going to be all those one clicker that will create your uh, edit like amazing shorts for you using these tools but just analyzing the scene just choosing the objects and adding the effect that might look best for it then of course a bit more into the future we're going to see like movies entire movies being created with just a prompt but using this great segmentation which is essential of course to uh, manipulate different scenes and maybe if you're doing it in real time, you want to remove something that you don't like from the scene you're actually creating and, and goes into a force Hollywood and basically this will be used anywhere. And that's it. Very impressive. I have to tell you, I'm very, very impressed with it. You can play it yourself. I'm going to link to it in the description of this video. So you can try it yourself. It's great. Free, by the way. Just go in, try it out and see uh, your thoughts about it. I'm pretty impressed with it for sure. Thanks for watching.